on this very special day of Holy Thursday morning. You might have noticed as we were preparing uh, Holy Communion for uh, distribution that I moved the tabernacle in the back, which is the, the little gold and silver church-looking building that sits on the center of the altar table that houses uh, the reserve sacrament of Holy Communion inside. So anytime we have a baptism, uh, chrismation, anytime we visit someone who's uh, sick or in the hospital, that's where the Holy Communion comes from. So um, it's prepared, a second host is prepared today in um, reserve for the entire year. So the one that was in there is, is placed inside the chalice and will be consumed um, by the priests. But the one that was prepared today, we let it dry out. Um, it's tinctured, which is uh, um, taking the, the host itself, it's the piece of bread uh, that becomes the body of Christ, which is the seal on the prosphoto that says I-C-X-C-N-I-K-A. Then the priest will turn it upside down, and then he takes the spoon and puts it into the blood of Christ, and then pours it on the sides and all around the, the host so that it, it soaks in to all the, the area of the bread. And then it, when it dries out, the bread has, um, the, the body of Christ also has the blood with it. It becomes a reddish color. And when it dries, um, some people have asked, well, doesn't it become moldy? Uh, no, it doesn't become moldy. And as soon as you put it inside um, the chalice, inside we have the hot water in there is, uh, with the wine. Um, as soon as it's put in, it becomes soft as the day it was made. So it's never uh, something that uh, falls into um, uh, disrepair, if you will, um, but it always is, is kept uh, by God's grace fresh and, and immaculate, and for years it can, it can remain like that without becoming moldy or um, uh, corrupt in any way. So inside the, the tabernacle on the, on the altar table, there's a little door, and inside the door there's a little tray and inside that tray, it's a, it's a rather small tray, it should actually be larger, but with this particular tabernacle, it was the only size that um, we have. And it's, a, it's about the size of a, um, uh, the bottom of a Dixie cup uh, glass, and then we put the host inside there, but it has to be dried up and broken up in pieces in order to fit inside. Uh, but that's where it, it is, in, right inside the door. And then as you open the door and go into the tabernacle, there's another um, glass bottle um, that has uh, reserve blood in there as well. So it has, um, that is mixed with the body again, uh, but it's actually consecrated um, uh, communion as well. So we take those two things when we, celebrate um, a baptism or chrismation or go to the, the hospitals that the priests have uh, a special kit and are allowed by their priesthood to take communion with them wherever they go and to offer that as well to, um, to the faithful. Now one of the other things too, uh, somebody had asked me in my, my car I have a, uh, a bottle and I have, it's got an eyedropper on the top it was from an old, um, uh, the, st the old style for, for children. I got a new bottle from the, the um, a pharmacy that has a, a squeeze dropper on the top and it's a large bottle. And inside there I have the reserve sacrament. So when I go visit someone, I take from here and I put it in, inside this, um, this container and I go and give it to um, those who are in the hospital or those who are in need. And one of the questions that was asked of me too was, um, Father, do you have that in your car all the time? And I said, yes, I do. And they said, how come it doesn't spoil? And I said, because it's the body and blood of Christ. It doesn't freeze, it doesn't uh, spoil, it never becomes um, uh, any, any problems. And what I do on the inside of that is I take the bread itself and I put it inside the, uh, the communion wine. And then when I go visit someone, I'll shake it and then it stirs up the, the particles of bread, and then when I squeegee drop it, it, it puts a particle of, at least one particle of, of uh, the body onto the, the spoon, so that's given to um, those who are 
uh, in need. So that's a little bit about what happens today. It happens every Holy Thursday morning, and every year it's changed out. Um, and there, there could be the point in time where, depending on the community um, and the size, that they might go through that reserve sacrament. And that's usually, um, in, in those types of cases, um, the priest would prepare a different size host for the following year. So if the bread seal is this big, the priest can also cut where it almost looks like a pyramid on the host so that it gets wider at the bottom to uh, meet all the needs of the community. So that's a little bit of an insight on what happens on this uh, liturgy this morning. It, this liturgy this morning starts out with Vespers and goes into the Divine Liturgy of St. Basil. So it's a very special and beautiful liturgy. I pray that you all have a blessed day and to remember that this evening we have the reading of the 12 Gospels.